Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Toy Mingo's YouTube channel. This is Chaney180. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jada Toys doll seam from Street Fighter. Uh, been waiting for this guy for a while. Uh, I was really, really excited to get this thing in hand. And I gotta say, it did not disappoint. Um, it's just crazy, everything that's included with this thing. We've got his uh, free-flowing bracelets here, which look good. We've got metal earrings, which are actually in... The figure's ears there, which look really, really cool. We've got his uh, his skulls there, and this is like a soft plastic, so it won't get in the way or hinder anything. Uh, we've got some nice paint applications here, especially on the head with his uh, his markings there. Nice sculpt to the rope and paint applications along the shorts here. These look good as well. Nice paint applications on the legs, but the, the metal earrings, that's cool. I love that. They came out really, really nice. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the accessories. All right, so right out the gate, uh, Dalsim comes packed with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and start it here. We'll start with the hands first. So he comes with two hands like this. Two hands like this, you get an extra head sculpt here of him yelling, and you can kind of swivel the earrings around too, so that's really cool, which this looks really nice. This came out very, very good. I do dig this as well. And then you get two extra arms here, which have bendy wire in them, so you can bend them and contour around however you like and they also have the free-flowing uh, bracelets here unfortunately the fist did not swivel or hinge um, that's too bad but you get fist hands on here with these arms and you get bendy wire legs as well so that's really cool and you can you know contour them around however you see fit and that's not it there's still one more piece here. I actually missed this uh, in the packaging, but you get a uh, little stand here, and I assume it's to help support the limbs when he's uh, doing his kicking or punching or whatnot, but it does come with two hinges and a swivel like the normal Jada um, stands that we get with the figures, but it's got this little kind of like U hook kind of thing here at the top to uh, help support the weight of the, uh, the limbs. So that's really, really cool. Let's go ahead and get into some articulation. All right, so Dalsim here is very posable. Um, if you know Jaded Toys, Street Fighter figures, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into here. But let's go ahead and break it down and go over how well this guy moves. So we've got a double barbell at the top here. We've got a ball joint there at the bottom of the neck, and that's going to allow quite a bit of articulation or movement I should say <clears throat> so we can look down look up pivot around look left to right there's really no issue there everything looks nice and good you know you can look up about that far down the arms go all the way around they go up about that high I've got a bicep swivel here Nice and tight joints, which is nice. You've got a double hinged elbow, which gets up about that high. We have a swivel and a hinge at the wrists. You've got a ball joint here and here, and that's going to allow for movement that far back, which is very important for this character. And that far forward. You can also pivot him to the side if need be. So that is cool. Legs are going to go out that far. No issue. I'm going to go forward this far, and he's got this nice soft crotch piece, so you can really just push it to the limit if you want. 
and then it goes back as well so that is also cool you've got a swivel here at the thigh double hinge knee looking good you also have a swivel here at the shin right in here with the uh you know his wraps on his shin there a hinge and a swivel at the ankle uh as i said before some toe hinges would have been awesome for this we've we, i mean we got a lot with this but <laughs> toe hinges would have really put it over the top for me personally that's my personal preference and then real quick here uh we'll pop off the arm and just plug this one on and it still swivels on that joint and you can bend it oh, popped off and you can bend it however you see fit you can contour it around or however you like so that is definitely cool how cool is that <laughs> and then this just pops right back on like that and then with the leg takes a little bit more force there pop that in there and this swivels around as well as you can see and you can bend that around however you want pretty cool pretty pretty cool and you can straighten it out and it's awesome came out looking nice so there is that very very pleased with the articulation on this guy it's very important that he was able to move very well because he's a very agile character in the game but let's go ahead and get to some comparison all right there's not too many 112 scale Dalsim figures and the only other one that i own is this old soda revolution or street fighter revolutions figure um i did like this back in the day but I, like even now I'm very weary about touching it because this thing has been known to crumble I think this was like the second or third one that I bought and it basically just kind of works as like a statue because the paint got all up in the joints and it'll break so it's great that we have this now um, this is very old very brittle so I'd be I'm very careful with it <laughs> here he is next to his wave mates from wave 2 uh, Jada Toys Ken and Jada Toys M. Bison. Here we have Jada Toys Ryu and Jada Toys Chun-Li. Here we have Mega Man and Fei Long, also from Jada Toys. Then we have Marvel Legends Cyclops and Marvel Legends Wolverine. As you can see, he fits in great with Marvel Legends. So you can uh, go crazy with your X-Men vs. Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom. And here he is next to the uh, Marvel Legends 2-Pack Sabretooth and the 3-Pack uh, Jubilee. All right, final thoughts on Dalsim here. The fun factor on this guy is crazy. The ability to swap out the limbs is super fun. You've got the bendy wire. You're only limited by your imagination. You get these free-flowing bracelets here, not only on the normal arms, but on the, uh, the bendy wire ones as well. So that's super duper cool. Uh, the amount of stuff that he comes packed in with is insane. I, I still can't believe it. Like, I had missed the, the stand initially. I had to come back through here and refilm this because I had missed the stand in the box because I was so excited for the arms and the legs and everything that I looked down when I was uh, checking out the box later on and I was like, oh, there's even a stand included in here. So that's super duper cool. If I had anything to nitpick about about this figure, it's going to be my common toe hinge just because Dalsim uses, uh, he's on his toes in some of his fighting stances. That's literally the the only thing I can nitpick this thing about. Uh, everything came out good. I do like the paint applications. The size is great. Um, it's going to work great with your Marvel figures if you want to do, uh, you know, X-Men versus Street Fighter stuff. I love the inclusion of the metal earrings here. That came out really well. Uh, overall, I'm just really, really pleased. Uh, one other thing, if I did have to nitpick and, you know, hopefully down the road we can get this. We definitely need his yoga fire effect. You need that face where he's blowing the fire out with the fire effect. Hopefully we get that down the road on some kind of, you know, player two version or something like that. But 
everything that he comes packed out with, like this is definitely a super fun figure that comes with a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to look great in your display with your uh, your other Jada Street Fighter figures and or your Marvel vs. Capcom stuff if you want to throw it in there. Uh, yeah, they, they knocked it out of the park with this guy. I really, really love this figure. I'm actually surprised because I was looking forward to Dalsim the most. And then I got the M. Bison in hand, and this is the one that, that I really, really can't put down. But they're both really killer figures, in my opinion. So that's all I got for that one, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit like, subscribe if you've not already. Check out our podcast, Chat Me Goes Assemble, on Tuesdays. They're not dolls on Thursdays. Take it easy, guys.